Hi, my name is Rolf Krüdel, Product Marketing Manager, Microcontroller at Infinite Technologies. Hi, my name is Alexander Schmidt, Technical Marketing, Automotive Power Products. We want to highlight today our new 12 volt brushless DC motor application kit to show you how easy it is to start your application with an Infineon solution. Alex, what are the key applications we target? It serves a wide range of applications. Uh, on the one hand, automotive applications, for example, in a car, the trend to move from mechanical pumps to electrical pumps. Yes, I heard about that, but what is the benefit of the electrification and why is that the trend from brush DC towards brushless DC motors? Okay, electric pumps save a lot of uh, weight and offer load dependent variable driving. Key advantage of brushless DC motors is energy efficiency, but there are a lot of more advantages like uh, more torque per, per weight, reliability, longer lifetime, and uh, reduction of electromagnetic interference. Okay, sounds good, but I always heard terms like sensorless, field-oriented control, or block limitation. Well, by measuring the back EMF of the coil, you can uh, measure the position of the rotor, you can cancel out hall sensors and encoders, which leads to a dramatic cost reduction. Field-oriented control means you're driving the motor with sinusoidal currents instead of pure switching on off, like what you mentioned before, block rotation is. Whatever the customer is choosing, Infineon is offering the perfect solution for all kind of driving scenarios. So, hall sensors with, without, block commutation or field-oriented control. Additionally, you also address uh, any kind of fan application in a car, like climate control. Mm -hmm. We offer dedicated devices from low-end 8-bit to high-end 16-bit microcontroller for field-oriented control, as well as highly integrated bridge driver ICs with diagnostics and protection. Excellent. Now I'm interested in the details. <coughs> okay, Ralf, let's check out what is uh, the content of our starter kit. Every kit is supplied with a brushless DC uh, motor with uh, connectors, everything included. Our inverter board with our TLE 7184F bridge driver ICs together with the six uh, end channel MOSFETs building up our B6 bridge. Then we have our drive cards. We have here our XC2236N 16-bit microcontroller drive card. And for the low-cost applications, we have our 8-bit XC886 drive card. Included in the starter kit is the complete firmware, the low-level driver for brushless DC. It's on the CD, mm -hmm. as well as the power supply in all the cables. For the download and for the monitoring, we have our drive monitor via USB. And for additional motors, we have also connectors inside to plug everything together. Perfect. Everything is included. So, Alex, let's get started. OK, Ralf. Let me show you how easy it is. We take the brush CC motor and okay. the inverter board with our TLE 7184F. I connect everything together. We have the choice between our 16-bit XC2236 microcontroller mm -hmm. or our low-cost XC886 microcontroller for the test here. I choose the 16-bit microcontroller. Okay. I plug it on the other side. Mm -hmm. I connect the power supply, turn the potty to the left, press reset, and you see the motor is turning. By turning the potentiometer to the right, I can increase the speed. Nice, now the motor is running, but how can I do the detailed settings? Slowly, slowly, that's what I'm going to show you next. The software package is already installed. What I need is a drive monitor mm -hmm. to establish the connection between the PC and the drive board. And just have to connect it to our drive card. You see, it's blinking and the connection is established. And now we can start the drive monitor. OK, start the drive monitor and click the Open Setting button. Mm -hmm. Now we load the XC2236N INI file mm -hmm. okay. and 
we connect to the drive card. Next, we, we load the hex code. The hex file is the foc underline sensorless.hex file. OK. And then just click Run, and we start the communication from the PC to the drive card. Mm -hmm. Oh, the motor is running, nice. OK, good job. It's really easy to get started. But what happens if I take a different motor for my own application? Is it really easy to run my own motor as well? Of course, it is possible to run your own motor within one day. Let me show you how this is, this is working. Just give me this 120 watt brushless DC motor. OK, I will just connect it to the board. Take the power supply off. Good, yeah. yeah. OK. And now plug in. Plug it in. OK. OK, so everything is connected. Mm -hmm. What I just need now is the data sheet of our new brushless DC motor. Mm -hmm. So these parameters must be put into the setting. OK. Th now that we have the data sheet of the new brushless DC mm -hmm. motor, now we open the XC2000 FOC calculation sheet. And we put in the new brushless DC motor data. We then move to the FOC defines page, copy everything, and paste it into the firmware header file defines.h. We compile, we download, open the drive monitor again, we upload uh, the hex file and get the parameters from the drive card. And then we press run. OK, perfect. Now you have to follow the same steps that mm -hmm. are described for the small motor and see the motor is running. Wow, this is really easy. Yes, we are very experienced. Infineon is offering dedicated application kits for all kinds of motor controls, mm -hmm. from 12 volt to above 300 volt. OK, thank you, Alex, for the fantastic demonstration. You're welcome. It was very interesting. So if you're interested in a fast and easy solution, get your kit now on www.infineon.com slash BLDC. My name is Ralf Ködel, Product Marketing Manager, Microcontroller at Infineon Technologies.